Good morning. It's uh, 6 a.m. Just got my son out of bed. Um, sometimes it's important to teach uh, your children that it's uh, not just easy um, a roof over your head, uh, food on your plate and uh, a nice warm bed with blankets to sleep. Uh, don't come easy and um, you've got to go and see the other side of the world that there are a lot of people still on the street sleeping in this winter cold. So we're going to do a good deed today and um, teaching my son that good deeds are really important by going out there and um, giving blankets to these uh, poor kids and poor people sleeping on the streets. So let's do this. So my dad uh, moved to uh, England some 55 years ago. Um, started work as a bus conductor working in factories. Um, he gave us the best life possible. You know, he worked really hard day and night. We saw this. Um, growing up in Britain sounds really uh, fabulous, but believe it or not, we were pretty much doing everything ourselves because we weren't really um, the, uh, the, one of the wealthiest. Um, so I've worked from uh, at the age of 16, uh, from driving cabs to uh, packing shelves at Tesco's and various other jobs. Um, I wanted to teach my son the same kind of value that you've got to do things yourself. Um, it's very easy for people to get spoiled. In India, um, fortunately, unfortunately, a lot of middle class rich people have these luxuries of uh, lots of house help and uh, everything gets done. We never had this growing up. So I never wanted my son to become that rich kid that we never really liked because, you know, he had everything on a plate. Um, and touch wood, my son's really grounded. Um, wonderful guy, wonderful kid, and I'm happy that he's got some great values. Today I got him up at 6 a.m. <laughs> and I said, um, you know, it's time that we go and uh, help the needy outside. It's winter time. Uh, as you can see, it's still dark outside at 6 in the morning. So uh, um, all the staff and all the team at Jail Stream decided to get together. Um, we've all donated towards lots and lots of blankets, which we are personally going to go and make sure they get delivered um, in each hand um, of every uh, uh, poor guy that we see on the street today and uh, Vian has volunteered to help me this morning and got him out of his little cozy bed to see how fortunate we are and how thankful we are um, with gratitude to God and life uh, has been kind to us um, and let us repay and do our bit as, uh, as, as good citizens and we hope by watching this video um, will inspire many others to go out there and personally do their charity because it's very easy to donate money and you don't know where that money goes um, Hey, we're going to make sure that every dollar gets spent on helping uh, the people that need it. Um, and I'm proud of you, Vian. You woke up early, didn't even quib, got out of bed. And uh, I think you believe and you realize how fortunate you are. And you've got to realize that uh, it doesn't come easy. There's a lot of hard work that went behind this. And uh, today, if you have an opportunity to pay it back or pay it forward, you never lose that opportunity, right? So what are you going to do? And let's keep people nice and warm this winter. What say? over there. See, all of them sleeping, little kids sleeping. Okay. Let's go around the side and put it on their feet. So what she's saying is there's a place over there where there's more people. There's more people sleeping. So we're going to go and help them now, okay? Come. Well done. Proud of you, Viani. Mask on, hold on. Good boy. Why your shoes? Not done, darling. Put your shoes on. Put your shoes on. Put the thing on properly. 
Yeah, pull up the zip. Well done. Look at these four children sleeping on their own over here. There we go. Over there. Don't make sure it doesn't touch them, put it on their head. Get in the car again. Thank you. Bus. Are we wrapping something? Sure. So I don't think we could really fit many blankets in the back of our car. Uh, we only got 40, 50 blankets out there. But um, what did you learn? I learned a lesson that I should be grateful for everything I have, and I brought us blankets. But I think you have been very grateful for what you have, and it's nice that you've actually made the effort to get up at six and I hope your friends watch this and also uh, um, get inspired by you and say you know what I think we're going to do what Beyond did went out there and uh, and did our bit and honestly guys um, we shot this video not to show um, show off charity well what is this 20 30 40 blankets will not make a world of difference but it's every bit that's going to count and we hope we can inspire others that um, Charity doesn't happen just by donating money. It happens by physically going out there, making sure the money gets spent properly. Um, and we've learned that in life all the time. Um, we did our bit today and we'll continue to do our bit. And I just hope uh, people out there realize that there is a lot of poverty. We should be very thankful for what we have, very grateful. Um, we always look at these fake Instagram, social media stories and believe that's the way to live. Private jets, living high, big life. Um, it's not the way. Covid has taught us a lot. Um, important to be grounded, it's important to uh, value each and everything that you have. Um, materialistic things will come and go, but uh, compassion, um, sticking together, humanity, mankind, helping people, that's really important. Um, so we've done our bit um, and we'll continue to do our bit and this was just one of those days. For a while I've been wanting to uh, show my son uh, this side of, uh, of life and how others live and I think today as you saw those kids sleeping in the cold. Um, I think you'll appreciate life a lot more now and what you have. Yeah, the rice bucket challenge. Yes, and sometime back Vian did a rice bucket challenge when he was five. Um, and we took lots and lots of buckets and filled them up with rice and dal and gave them out to a lot of people. So I think uh, Vian actually wanted to do that today. He was saying that can we feed them as well. Um, and yes, we will. We will do lots more and uh, we should make it a more regular habit for you to come with me as well. Yeah. It'll be fun. You are a bit scared of the corona, weren't you? Yeah. Well, we had our masks on, we were safe as possible, and, uh, but as you can see, you know, we have the comforts and the luxuries of doing all this, but the people sleeping out there in the cold don't have these luxuries. Um, so guys, it's, it's, it's a mess. Last year, COVID was, uh, was a killer. It's not going anywhere soon. Let's do our bit to help everyone uh, stay safe and, uh, and stay happy, more importantly. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Jayanth.